Okay, so it is time for my end of week vlog for week 4 of April. This is it guys, we are so close to being done with this month and well, I kind of felt this way in March as well and I'm going to say it again here, I can't wait to show you my May TBR. I'm extremely excited about it but I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Just giving you ideas, you guys, a little bit of an idea of how the rest of this week is going to shape out because I have some videos coming your way every day between now and the end of the month. So today obviously we're doing the week 4 wrap up. Tomorrow I am going to be doing a Mistborn video which I'm very excited about. We'll talk about that more a little later on today. And then on Tuesday I'm going to do a Lord of the Rings wrap up kind of video. It's going to be, yeah, I have thoughts, I have feelings, they need to be expressed. <laughs> then on Wednesday I'm going to show you my May TBR. Very excited about that. It's going to be amazing. So many good things coming up in May for me. I just, I want to get into my May TBR already. I wish I could start reading it right now. And then on Thursday, the last day of April, we will do my monthly wrap up where I discuss all the books that I've read so far this month. So now that you know the plan for the rest of this week, a video every single day, let's get into what I have been reading in this final week of April, week four. So the first book that I read is this one, The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is the Final book in what I'm going to call the Lord of the Rings Quadrology, quad Quadrilogy, whatever you want to call that. I'm apologize about the flickering lights. I can't seem to do anything about it. I do apologize. So this is the last book uh, in the Lord of the Rings series, and if you include The Hobbit, that makes four books, and I did read The Hobbit as well. I've been struggling a lot with my feelings with this series because it's just not the series for me and I'm going to talk a lot more about that in two days time when I do my Lord of the Rings wrap up. But for now, just focusing on this book, I didn't enjoy the first half of the book because what I found with the Lord of the Rings um, trilogy is that I more enjoyed spending time with Sam and Frodo than I did with the others and the first half of this book was all about the others. The second half of the book we are more dealing with Sam and Frodo and everything that's going on over there and I do find that a lot more intriguing. So the ring is finally taken to where it needs to go. Now that's not a spoiler because I'm not saying what happens when they get there, but the ring is finally taken where it needs to go. It takes four, well, three books to get the ring where it needs to go. And the first book, I'll save it all for my Lord of the Rings video. As you can tell, I have so much to say and I'm restraining myself with difficulty here. Anyway, the, um, the climax of taking the ring to where it needs to go was pretty good. I enjoyed that. And then... Once that happened, there was more to go. Um, I honestly thought it was just going to wrap up after that, but it didn't. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien had one more massive thing uh, in mind to do, and I really appreciated that. So, again, I don't want to spoil the book for you. I ended up giving it two stars, which is pretty high for me. <laughs> um, the Hobbit received two stars and the Fellowship of the Ring received one star. So two stars for this book, not too bad. But I will say this, I'm done with the Lord of the Rings quadrilogy or quadrilogy or quadrilogy or quadrology, however you say it. I'm done with that series. Done, done, done. And I couldn't be more elated about that fact. So I'm just going to put this book down and move on to the next book that I read this week, which is this gorgeous cover, much better than what I showed you guys in my March TBR. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is the most certainly improved version of a cover of the third book in the Vampire Academy series, Vampire Academy Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. Now, so with book one and book two of Vampire Academy, I found them to be 
the first three quarters of the book, both of them were rather meandering, and the final quarter of the book was really good for both one and two, and they made me want to read the next one right away because the ending was just so amazing. I went into this book with that in mind, thinking and certainly figuring that the first three quarters of this book was going to be just as boring. Nay, sir. It was interesting from page one all the way through to the end. There was a slight lull that lasted maybe for four pages, which is nothing in an over 400 page book. It's like blink and you'll miss it. But otherwise, everything was just so oh, intriguing action-packed. I just loved everything really about this book. Even the fact that there was a lull was fine because by the time I noticed it was a lull then the lull was over so it didn't last that long at all. Everything about this this third book in the Vampire Academy series was amazing and so Rochelle Mead for the first time I am giving you a whopping five stars. Wow! Yes, deserved of each and every single one of those five stars. Now, that is what I rated it on Goodreads. Uh, officially, I wanted to give it 4.5 stars, but as you guys know, Goodreads does not allow for a 0.5 in Goodreads, which they really should because the amount of books I wanted to give a 0.5 to or a 0.75 or a 0.25, they really should allow this stuff. Come on. I've <laughs> been saying it for months now, and I'm sure there are others who have been saying it for years. Hello, Goodreads. Let's work on this. <laughs> So I thought about with 4.5, I have to either round it up or round it down. And my first thought and only thought really to this was if I round it down to four stars, it just would not be fair on the book. The book was so good that four stars is not a true rating at all. A truer rating would be closer to five stars. And so that's why I went with that one. Really had an amazing time. Can't wait to read book four. I'll talk to you more about that in my main TBR, but yes so amazing. Rochelle Mead hit her stride in this book and I loved every moment of it. It was just so good. Uh, please feel free to check out my review that is in my reviews playlist for this book that I did yesterday because it was just... Oh. I finished this book and went straight into doing the review and you know I have lots to say when I've just finished the book and I jump right into the review rather than waiting 24 hours or whatever it is to review the book. So that's that one. Five stars. The third book is a book that I'm still reading. I have not finished this book, um, but I will be finishing it tomorrow, Monday, and I will talk about it more uh, when I do my video on this, uh, and that is the final book in the original Mistborn trilogy, Mistborn, The Hero of Ages. This book is a very hefty fella, okay? Very hefty. I am on page 638 and I'm not done. So that shows you just how big this book is. I've actually had to piece and parcel uh, my reading with this book out over the entire course of the month because there, otherwise there'd be no way that I would get through everything else that I've gotten through this month. Um, I'm just going to check the total amount of pages here. In this book, 724. So, and I'm on... 638 so I'm there so I'm very close to being done less than 100 pages left I will definitely finish it tomorrow this series as a whole the original tr uh, Mistborn trilogy has changed reading for me if you've been with me on my journey since I started first talking about Mistborn which was with the very first book The Final Empire you know how much of an impact that had on me and I've just loved this series so very, very much, and I have so much to say in the wrap-up of the original trilogy, as I say, and that will be coming out tomorrow. But yeah, it's been really, really good, really exciting. Some things that I don't necessarily love about the book, for sure. Um, if you have not seen my review of the second book in this series, The Well of Ascension, I had two videos, things I loved about... Uh, well of Ascension and things I did not love about Well of Ascension and I have the same Ooh, I do apologize about the lighting there bless <laughs> we'll just keep going and I do apologize again um so with the second book I had things that I loved and things I did not love and with this book I have the same there are things that I loved about this book and things I did not love about this book but the things that I loved far outweigh the things that I didn't love, not only in quantity, but in quality. So, you know, it's definitely worth the read. 
And with where I'm at right now, you can tell that it is the wrap up of this original trilogy. So now, uh, some of you have been asking me on other platforms what I mean when I say original trilogy. I believe that Miss Vaughan has six or seven books in total, something like that. It either has six and there's a seventh one on the way or it has seven. The first three books are a trilogy in and of their own and then book four through to wherever Brandon Sanderson is up to in the series, um, book four takes place many, 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 many multitudes of years later with a completely separate list of characters not these characters, at least that's what I'm being led to believe. And so that's why the first three books are the original trilogy. And then while the universe continues on, it continues on with things being completely different, but just the same universe. So that's why I call the first three the original trilogy. And the second lot will be the second trilogy or whatever I'm going to name it when we get to it. But it is wrapping up. You can tell this book has built to a final, final climax. Like, it's just, oh my god. <laughs> Tomorrow being the last day, I just, I don't know how I'm gonna go in my video tomorrow, but am I expecting tears? Potentially. I don't want to let go of this, of these characters at the very least. I don't want to leave them behind. I want to just keep hanging out with them, <laughs> and I just, I have this feeling that well, I mean, it's going to end tomorrow for me, regardless, whether they all lived happily ever after the end or whether they all die. <laughs> I mean, because it's Sanderson, he doesn't mind killing people. So that's where I'm kind of going, oh my God, is he going to kill them off? Like, what's going to happen? Are they all going to die? <laughs> so um, I, I am ready to cry in case I need to. I have tissues uh, in my reading area, so I'm ready if I need to. <laughs> But I just don't know how it's going to end. I don't want it to end, but I need it to end so that I can move on to my May TBR. But I love this series so much and I am going to, uh, I'm going to keep it with me always, obviously. And who knows, maybe at some point I'll do a reread of the original trilogy and I will fall in love with it all over again, but it's going to be hard to let go of this tomorrow. But I think that's why it will be the perfect time to do my Mistborn video, my wrap-up of, of the original series, of the original Mistborn uh, trilogy with you guys tomorrow, the moment I finish reading it, so I can get all my thoughts and feels out to you guys and tell you this is exactly what I think and I'm really happy or I'm really upset with Brandon Sanderson right now or I loved it or oh my god can you believe this happened but then this happened I'm gonna have all the feels, you can be ready for that, you can be assured that that's coming your way tomorrow. But for where I'm at right now, Oh, look, it, it will get five stars. I, I doubt it's going to get any less than that because it's Sanderson. Not that Brandon Sanderson should automatically get five stars, but every piece of work that I have read by Brandon Sanderson is worthy of the five stars that it does receive. And I definitely think that this book will also get five stars because it's just been so good. But anyway, I'm going to stop gushing because <laughs> we don't need this video for, to go on for more than 15 minutes. So let's wrap this up here, shall we? I'm so sorry about the lighting. Ugh, angels are having fun with me. Or maybe it's the other side. Who knows? I do apologize. It's very, very, very bright on my end. But anyway, so just to recap uh, what's been going on for me this week, I read Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien, finished off my um, Lord of the Rings quadrilogy or quadrology, however the heck you say that, gave it two stars. Happy to finish this. There'll be a video coming out in two days time where I talk about all of that and I have thoughts and I have feelings and you will get all of that in two days time. Finished the third book in the Vampire Academy series. Best book so far. Five stars. Was amazing from start to end. Can't wait to continue on with the series and read book four. I'll talk to you about that in my May TBR, which is coming up in three days. And nearly done with Mistborn, the Hero of Ages, the final book in the original Mistborn trilogy. I will finish this book off tomorrow. And as soon as I'm done with that, we are going to talk Mistborn. I'm going to do a whole Mistborn video and discuss all my thoughts and feelings then. So, these are the books I have been reading this week. If you have any comments, thoughts, and questions, please do not hesitate to leave them in the space below. 
and uh, let me know what you've been reading as well and if you've been having a, a good reading time especially while we're going through this lockdown phase I am going to be letting you showing you the books there we go okay <laughs> I'm going to be letting you guys go peace blessings and so 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 much love Mwah. thank you so much for watching I usually post videos every Monday Thursday and Sunday with reviews in between but I'm going to be posting videos every day from now to the end of the month anyway so I'll see you again tomorrow <laughs> until then happy reading Mwah. and I'll see you again soon bye guys bye <laughs>